Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the part two of the Slither.io tutorial series. Today we're going to be making some more improvements to what we have so far. So as you can see right now, what we have is just a snake with a body that follows us endlessly. Uh, so we need to fix some things. The first thing we're going to do is add length to our uh, snake so that it doesn't go on forever and so that uh, it has some length that we can measure. So we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call it length. And while we're at it, we might as well just delete this my variable because we don't need that. And we're going to set uh, length to something like 50. And so the way we're going to make length work is we only want the uh, the body of the uh, the body of the snake, so our clones, to stay for a long time if the length is really high. Um, and if the length is close to zero, then they really should be disappearing really quickly. So the way we're going to do that is instead of this forever loop, what we're going to do is bring in a repeat, uh, just the one with the number, and then we're going to go into our variables and use that newly created length variable. So then we can add this inside of the repeat, and right after, all we have to do is delete this clone. Uh, so then once we have deleted this clone, um, we can see that it should work to some extent. You can see that there is some tail and then it's not going forever. Um, but there's some more improvements uh, that we want to make. So the next thing we can do is make it so that the user can hold the mouse down and go faster, just like in the real game. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is inside of this when flag is clicked, we're going to drag in an if else. And we're going to say, if mouse is down, what we're going to do is set our speed. So let's do speed in here. And we can set the speed to something like 5. Uh, so we can actually just delete this set speed to 5 from our when flag is clicked because we're going to be managing it in this uh, forever loop and in this if else. So if mouse is down, let's set speed to 5. And let's also change our length by minus 0 0.1 so that the user has some incentive, some motivation to go get the food. Otherwise, they can just survive forever. Um, and then we're going to set a color effect on our snake. And we're going to say set color effect to negative 10 uh, inside the if. Whoops. And then we're just going to duplicate all of this and put it in our else statement. And we're going to just change the numbers. So if you aren't holding the mouse down, we want to set our speed to something slower like 2. And we only want to reduce our length by, let's say, negative uh, 0 0.05. So half of that uh, here. And then we're going to set our color effect to 0 so that there are no visual effects on the snake. And let us see how that looks. So we can move. As you can see, there's length. And if we hold down, then you can see it changes color and we go faster uh, and the length is decreasing at a faster rate. And then if we stop holding down, we return to this original state. So once again, we can click and the snake goes faster. It extends for a bit, but then when we stop holding, it comes back down. One more thing I want to do is add a backdrop. So I've included the art in the description below, but what we want to do is click upload uh, backdrop and we're going to use the gray wallpaper and just like that you can see that we have a snake that follows which has a length and different speeds that it moves at I want to keep these episodes digestible so I'm gonna leave this episode here hope you guys enjoyed I will see you very soon with a part 3 for this tutorial series peace out guys Thank you.